second part of our morning session, which is a round table discussion. So it's been pointed out, our tables aren't round. We'll manage. <laughs> Uh, we, I'm going to ask each speaker to uh, give a 10-minute presentation, and then we'll open it up for a, a much more informal talk um, with, with the, the audience in a question and answer session. Uh, so I'd like to introduce first from Vietnam the Deputy Director General for the, in the Department for Higher Education in the Ministry of Education and Training, that's Dr. Tran An Thuang. Thank you, uh, uh, Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and Training of Vietnam, uh, today I would like to uh, present uh, some challenges and strategy of uh, higher education to 2020 of Vietnam. My uh, presentation uh, includes uh, three parts. Uh, the first part is uh, I will talk about the current si situation of Vietnam. And the second part, uh, I will talk about the, some ch uh, challenges. And the final one is uh, some uh, strategy up to uh, the year 2020. Uh, in current si situation of Vietnam, uh, there are some uh, very import uh, important points. The first one, we develop a, a completed uh, higher education system throughout the country for one class university with the cooperation with the uh, German and French uh, government and supported by uh, World Bank and uh, IDB. Uh, since 2005 up to now, uh, two university, we, uh, uh, we get some uh, very good and very sig uh, uh, significant uh, 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 re uh, results. And the second point is uh, we establish a fairly co uh, quality assurance system uh, uh, by some very important point, for example, uh, investment of improving infrastructure, building uh, co a quality culture of higher education institution, new uh, curriculum have been established to adopt with the growing uh, practical chain uh, of the world of work, uh, reform of teaching methods, testing, and uh, ev evaluating measure. And the final one is uh, is uh, we reoriented uh, uh, curriculum in uh, some uh, uh, degrees, for example, bachelor, master, and uh, doctor degree. Uh, the uh, third point is uh, we reform the uh, higher education management and governance uh, in order to strengthen the society supervision on higher education and give more uh, autonomy to all of the uh, colleges and university. Uh, finance is uh, also the very important uh, matter. And uh, we established the uh, diversified higher education financing system. And the last one, the system of uh, normative law on higher education has been gradually, uh, gradually uh, uh, to be uh, complicated. Uh, we we put some very important uh, uh, point here. For example, we just uh, finished and uh, implement the uh, new law of uh, higher education from the beginning of this year. And some of the other very important uh, policy, for example, education development strategy up to uh, 2020, and uh, uh, adjustment of the plan of the university and colleges network to the year 2020, and some of the other important uh, policy. The question is, uh, what challenges now we are facing in Vietnam? Uh, we put here some very important points. For the first uh, challenges, uh, is the quality of graduate are not compatible with social economic needs. Uh, the student, when they graduate, they lack up some uh, very important skill, uh, for example, uh, innovation ability, practical and soft skill. The second one is uh, the higher education structure is still rigid. The third one is uh, the weak linkage among education, scientific research, and uh, commercialization. Uh, industry does not meet the society demand for close uh, cooperation between university and industry. 
the next one is a financial allocation uh, mechanism from the state budgets. It's mainly based on the uh, uh, eagerly uh, tourism affected uh, the quality and efficiency of the investment in higher education. Uh, furthermore, uh, the quality of the lecture and manager is uh, in uh, adequate lack of the self-motivated uh, learning and innovation to keep up with the requirement of the higher education reform. And the last one is the chain of the uh, curriculum was very slow and failed to meet the demand. It, uh, there were many other factors delay, uh, delaying improvement and such as cheating and, uh, at the higher education institutions. Uh, the government and the Ministry of Ed Education and Training in Vietnam know we identify uh, some challenges like this. So we identify the, some uh, strategy up to uh, the year 2020. Uh, we based on some key principles at uh, national level, we change uh, from the quantity to quality and efficiency. And now, uh, according to the degree of the uh, uh, government, the number of university now we fix up to the next, uh, uh, from 2006 up to 2020. As uh, the university level, we focus on some very important points. The first one is we focus on fully developed student capacity and competency. Uh, the second one is uh, we try to apply the reform program in terms of the reorganizing and recruiting uh, the student. Uh, reform higher education finance and to make use of the financial policy as an effective measure to improve the quality and the uh, competitiveness uh, in quality among higher education institutions. Establish and reoriented uh, uh, teaching program based on social needs and in association with the all of the stakeholders. Uh, four, uh, we uh, try to uh, strengthen the collaboration between higher education and uh, industry, and we think this is one of the key points. Uh, number five, we adjust the de development indicator for uh, higher education following the uh, uh, degree of the uh, prime minister uh, did uh, in the, uh, uh, this year. Number six, continue to reform higher education management and governance. And we try to prepare some policy uh, uh, for um, and try to give the autonomy to all of the university. The next point is uh, to continue and speed up the reform of knowledge uh, delivering methods, testings, and assessment. Uh, the number eight establish a national qualification framework uh, with. Uh, uh, cooperation with the uh, Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs. Now we just start to prepare the uh, national framework uh, in order to meet the uh, Asian uh, reference uh, uh, qualification framework. Uh, number five, nine, focusing more on improving the quality of teaching and uh, managing staff. Number 10, have put in place robust uh, quality assurance framework to ensure all of the university are delivering first rate courses to students. And finally, uh, we try to active uh, integrate and improve the efficiency of international cooperation in higher education in the region and in the world by outsourcing quality, uh, quality education uh, resources abroad. Um, that is uh, some uh, challenges and strategy of Vietnam up to uh, the year 2020. Uh, we hope uh, in, you can get some useful information and we will have the good uh, discussion. Thank you very much.